What is going on? Jason from YouTube here, here with another update for one of my new favorite stocks, Blue Sphere, ticker symbol, ticker symbol BLSP. And so if you've watched a few of my update videos, uh, that kind of gives the big uh, bullish thesis on it. With today's video, I have basically four points that I just want to talk through that's kind of secured my position. Um, you know, due diligence is something that you want to do a lot of when you first get into that stock. But even after you get into that stock, it's something that you need to make sure that one, those fundamentals that you bought in are still true. And then two, if you bought in on some news or bought in on you know some future projections and, and things that the company, maybe a conference call or the CEO had announced, that those things are still coming true. And so here with a dark company that's OTC, there's a lot of you know questions about it, but these four things help put me at ease. Number four, you probably is gonna think is a negative thing, but I'm gonna tell you why for me, it's a very positive thing. So let me go ahead and jump into this list. So point number one, when you first buy an OTC over the counter company, you know, it's it's there's an inherent risk about it because it's not available on all the platforms. You're nervous because it's not on the, the, the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ or something like that. But when you understand why a company goes dark, I think it helps put you a little bit at ease. And so there are certain things here that I did not even know. And so um, that's why I guess this is really putting me at ease. So uh, first thing under under point number one, uh, being on an exchange, so not being an OTC company, can cost upwards of $2 million a year. And so every company that's officially listed, they have to pay over $2 million a year for that. And so for me, if I can invest in a company and they don't have to spend $2 million on nonsense fees that's good other thing uh there is a bunch of paperwork for the sec uh, they have listed it as a full-time job that the sec can require so much paperwork that it can be a full-time job for someone so go ahead and add another you know i would say average job is thirty thousand, but probably the sec paperwork file is probably closer to like a hundred thousand dollar job there's something called the sox 404 compliance it is a massive audit with 11 in-depth things as i was looking this up i was literally starting to get a headache like i was like oh, i wonder what other companies look like and there's companies that sell like manuals for it and handbooks and free templates and i was like this is insane just the level of audit here so i would probably guess that this is probably another full-time person's job just to keep up with this SOX 404 compliance. The other thing is management focus. And so with this one, you know, Uncle Elon Musk, he's talked about SpaceX and he has said that he does not want to take it public right now and for the foreseeable future because the second a company goes public, their management shift has to focus. Because right now they're focused on growing the business and making money is important, but what's more important is growing the business for long sustainability. But the second that you go and you have to have shareholders that you're accountable to, that you have to worry about showing a profit every uh, single quarter. When those earnings reports come out, it's like, oh, we missed our earnings report, or we only barely, like with Apple, we barely beat our earnings report by you know all these billions of dollars, and it, your stock suddenly suffers and you lose investors. And so the management, shifts away from thinking business, business, business to shareholders, stock price, stock market. We have to find a way to show earnings and it can influence your decisions that can hurt your company long-term. And so again, going back to Elon Musk, he's, you know, with Tesla, what made it so, I guess, the new, the new model is to just get as big and wide and as awesome as you can and don't worry about profits right away because those will come. And you know, that's the that's the crazy thing about Tesla, you know, tracking up to, you know, one trillion dollar valuation is that they did not show a profit until 2019. And so, you know, we've thought Tesla is this great big company, but they weren't profitable until recently. And so uh, again, with, with Blue Sphere here, 
the fact that they are able to focus only on building their business, they don't have to worry about all these little things is awesome. And again, Elon Musk with SpaceX, you know, he does not want profits to get in the way of his goal. You know, with SpaceX, obviously he wants to, you know, colonize Mars. But if we have to take a step back and focus on how do we get money to our shareholders, then that uh, that hinders them because they're not going to make the same decisions that they would make if they're just only focused on the business. And so for me, a company that's dark, OTC, hey, you don't you don't worry about us at all. OK, I'm investing in your company. I trust you. I, I love your CEO. I know that you're building a good company, and so don't worry about me. Three, four years from now, I'll be coming asking what's going on. But for now, I'm trusting uh, the leadership. I'm trusting that you're focused on the right things. And so I thought that was a very big thing. Um, another thing under this point one, and the going dark in the OTC, is the liability issues. Um Whenever you're you're on the market and the SEC and all that, you just have a lot of liability issues. And the the last one that I that I really really like, and I was like, "Ooh, that's good." Is confidentiality. And so, if you've ever read uh, Sun Tzu's Art of War, so if my dad's watching this, he's probably like, "Oh, that's my book." Like you know, he he reads it multiple times a year. He used to be a coach. He used to to read it, you know, before the season, midway through the season, at the end of the season. But Sun Tzu's Art of War says that if you know yourself, then you will win the victory half the time. But if you know yourself and you know your opponent, then you will win the victory every time. And so right now for Blue Sphere, they know themselves and they are knowing their opponents because a lot of their opponents, a lot of people that are in the same space as them, the competitors, are on the stock market. And so they have to have all of their cards on the table where Blue Sphere right now nobody knows too much about them because they're holding back because they are dark. So they have this level of confidentiality that no one else knows. And again, I, I get for us shareholders, investors like, yeah, but isn't that scary? Like, I don't need to know every single thing that they're doing. I just need to know that they're moving forward. And so again, all these things, when I research them, it just puts me at ease. And so that's point number one. Point number two, and I know... I, I always tell you, do your own due diligence, but inside of doing your own due diligence, you know, uh, none of us are, uh, we don't, we all live on an island, you know, we cast a shadow, we have to live with everybody else with us, we've seen the power of momentum with AMC and GameStop that if we get enough momentum going in the right direction, if there's this massive snowball that that is enough to carry us. And so it's very important to see what's trending because even if I invest in the best company in the world with the best fundamentals, if I was the only person putting my, you know, thousand dollars in, that stock would not very move very much. But if we all invest in the worst company in the world, but all of us did it, that stock would move massively. And so again, that's not the sole reason why you should invest in a company again, because that really is gambling, which I've been very open with about AMC and GameStop. But if you're in that, Right now you're gambling, which again, just know your risk going in. But with, again, back to Blue Sphere here, point number two, there is a website called barchart.com. And for me, they're one of my favorite companies because it's very, very objective. That they have 13 indicators that they look at. And again, they're all very technical based and that's you know what makes them objective. But right now, all 13 of those say that BLSP is a B-U-Y, buy, buy, buy. And so, again, there are not a lot of companies that have all 13 of these technical factors showing buy. Again, technical factors are, are not the only decision making. There has to be, you know, product, service, company. There has to be, you know, multiple people in, involved in this. Um, but when you have, you know, when your heart is telling you one thing, when your head is telling you one thing and they all start to line up and then you look at an objective computer data driven uh, product and it says, just to let you know, this is a 100% buy, that's encouraging to hear. And so when I saw that from bar chart, I just, again, another thing that puts me at ease about, that, about this investment because again, OTC, a penny stock, 
you, you, your nerves get a little bit going, especially when it doesn't move as quickly as you would like to. And you want it to move the second you buy in. And normally, or not normally, but sometimes we buy in and it drops and it's like, oh, I'm cursed. Uh, but with this, it's it's been really consistent. And I know I put out the video the other day talking about day trader, but here's the aesthetics from just looking at the price of the stock. It's like, this hasn't moved, this is awesome. But if you look behind the scenes, there was so much volume this week. Um, this is, you know, the first week of February. Today's February 3rd, Wednesday as I'm making this. But Monday and Tuesday, there has been so much volume, but it's been up and down. And so it's kind of held the price consistent. Um, I'm a little nervous what's going to happen the next few days just because I know some of that positive volume. Uh, buying volume pressure may have not been from us long term holders, but it may have been from some of those day traders. And so they may have jumped in and said, all right, let's do this thing. And then it doesn't move and then they're like you know messaging back to their day trade leader hey what just happened i thought we were all getting in on this and then he has to write his explanation letter which who cares about him anyway so uh, again hopefully we will maintain even though there's a lot of volatility i guess behind the scenes the volume is rah, but it's so up and down both evenly that it's holding us here in the middle so again um I guess I'm happy that there hasn't been the volatility, although I'm sad because when the price drops, that's a good buying opportunity for us. Point number three. So say bye to my face because I'm about to show you a lot, a lot of pictures. So here's the thing that has just blown my mind for this company, all of these little pictures. And so what I'm gonna show you now is news clippings and these news clippings you know, I do my best to Google Translate. I do my best to read it and understand it. There's some words that don't translate well. There's some stuff that doesn't translate at all. I just look for blue sphere. I look for numbers. I look for the date that the article was written. Some of these other pictures I wanna show now are some of it, there, this last week, there was some drone footage. People took a drone over one of the uh, blue sphere things, uh, one of their, their sites, and so, knowing that again that this is a full real functioning company and again over here in america they have gone completely dark but overseas the local newspapers or national newspapers i i don't know but they're writing about them and so what that says to me is this is a real company that is out there doing real things which for a company that's dark which for a company that's you know one and a half cents is just so important that they continue to move forward during this time because what we're looking at, and again, I, I, we put a lot of pressure on the CEO of when's the, when's the press release, when's the press release. But for me, it's like, put that sucker off as long as you can because I want to invest as much as I can now for the long term. And so with BLSP, uh, I love the fact, again, there's so many news articles about it. There's so many uh, pictures of the sites, of trucks, of people actively working. Again, a lot of this stuff is international, but for me, that helps put me at ease that we are getting press. Again, not necessarily the press that we normally think about when we think about stock markets and at the physical locations, there is movement, there is a physical location, and these physical locations are really big. Like I know it's it's hard to tell from an aerial shot, but if pick something, you know, pick a person, pick a car and kind of scale it and be like, wow, that, that is really big. And the last point, thanks for making it this far. This is the one that you would normally say, that is bad news. Like that, that uh, uh, cryptocurrency XRP, they're in the middle of a legal battle. And it's like, dude, if they win, they're going to zero. And if they, or if they lose, they're going to zero. And if they win, they could do really well, uh, at least in America and internationally, I think, but we'll put crypto aside. So BLSP right now, they uh, they had a lawsuit with New York. And so I'm gonna show you the screenshot on that. So again, normally I'd be like, lawsuits are bad, but here's the deal. It shows that they're active even here in the United States. And so for me, that is a positive because I know that this company will continue to move forward and will continue to do well because their competition uh, is there, but are it, I don't think they're as good as Blue Sphere. 
that as I look at the competition, people have said, oh, check out this stock, check out this stock. But it's like, I like Blue Sphere better. I like their management better. And again, I can't say I like their financials better because they're not. But I guess at this point, I like their strategy better. Trump came into office 2016. We're going dark. But we are focusing international. Biden came, Biden's president in 2020. Okay, it's time to come back to life. Sleeping Giant is ready to awake. We've consolidated. We've done well. We've learned. We've grown. We have not given a care about our stock price, so it's gone down to zilch. But we are now ready to come back to America and get that funding that we need and, and just hit the ground running because we've already proven our business model overseas. And so for me, again, I know this isn't a full bullish thesis, but these are just four things that I guess have helped me sleep at night and have helped me when I do see those small dips, when I do see that little bit of volatility, I am using those as buying opportunities. If that doesn't happen and we start running, I am completely fine with the position that I'm holding because uh, I know you know I always talk about percentages. I'm in a full 5% on this, which is just about the highest I'll go on any stock. Um, I think since Tesla has risen, it's a little bit more. And since Google has risen uh, here in the last couple of weeks, um, it has it is a little bit more than 5%. And then uh, Tattooed Chef gone up and DraftKings. And so I think both of those are a little over 5%. Uh, so that I guess that goes to show like, hey, I'm not only in penny stocks, even though my last couple of videos have been about penny stocks. But... I just want more people to know about these companies because I think they're really good companies. I'm not getting paid to say this. They're dark. You know, no one's reaching out to me. I've reached out to the secretary and I said, hey, are you a real company? Yeah, you're the 27th person who's called and said and asked that that day. Um, anyway, I forgot to throw my disclaimer out there. You guys know what it is. Say it with me. This is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. So thanks again for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Share this with a friend if they're interested in BLSP. Let them know that we are going to win, that this is a real company. And hopefully these four things help you sleep at night. All right, you guys have a great day.